that crib up there. Top of the town clock steeple, meeting house. Cool. It's 8.30. Open to St. Paul's Church. And then tuck it. Pierce from the attic. Pierce from the attic in Compline. Up we go. Up we go. What are lights working on those? Here's Mr. Ball. What do you think, Mr. B? You staying up? We'll see, huh? Ollie's, Ollie's suspicious that that will happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that flower still is perky. These are the snapdragons have held up so well. Tulips have kind of have uh, a, a collection. I'm going to look at two. Uh, Across the rooftops, Ollie, across the rooftops. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, Ollie. Whoa. On the rug. Tripping on the rug, yep. Yeah. These braided rugs are funny. Okay. That's him good? Yes. Hi, Jay. Hi, Lucy. You planted the fern. <laughs> yeah, that's Looking beautiful. good. Looking good. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn the on. What I'm going to turn this thing on. Yeah, I think you can turn it off. I guess no conference callers. Okay. All right. Good evening. Welcome, Hi, everyone. Sheila. Hi, Joseph. There's Mr. Ball. He's being nervous. Oh, oh whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Hi, Bob. Like Hi, like Terry. Good to okay. see you. Okay. A little warm up here. I need a fan. Yes, we need to. It actually works. Soon it's gonna. <laughs> I know. Hi, Janet. All right. Yeah, we told you we're a fan that makes all this noise and throws no air out whatsoever. <laughs> it's the most bizarre. Does that looks it looks mod? Okay, Ali. So um, what else? Um, mm. Today I went down for the. Um, they had the a little graduation parade. Students go buying cars and trucks, old fire trucks and pickup trucks, all kinds of things, and. Uh, with their families driving by all the through Main Street. It's quite a parade. I'll, I'll post some, I post a little a photo of it earlier and a, even a little video of the, um, they had a banner going over all a plane was carrying a banner congratulating the class of 2020. It's been a hard year for them, I know. You know our poor students have had all this, so many lockdowns from the shootings and uh, this pandemic, they can't graduate. It's been a, a tough time for yes. our young people isn't it a lot of trauma but um yeah but it was quite a Nantucket's noted for their gatherings this one everyone had masks on and a little crowd I was at the outskirts a little bit at a safe distance but it was quite a, a quite a fun event Ollie yeah, for our grads uh, the whalers they're called Ollie what was your school the Seahawks Seahawks which also known as uh, Osprey. Osprey, I guess. Yeah, Seahawks. Uh, Cold, Cold Spring Harbor Seahawks. Yeah. Mine was um, the Thunderbolts, all the Cranston East Thunderbolts. <laughs> Thunderbolts. I was trying to think. I, I was thinking my color. I was gonna be. I was gonna wear like green and gold, but no. I think our, our colors are green and white, as I remember. Green and white. What were yours, Arlie? Blue. Uh, maybe blue, red, and white. Blue, red, red, white, and blue? Yeah. Wow, you are all American. I think. Girl. Yeah, that, that, is that, yeah. Well, and then I have the gold on you know, Cape High School where we were down at, in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, the Cape uh, Lewis and Rehoboth Beach. Theirs was green and gold, I believe. No, blue and gold. The blue and the gold. Blue and the gold. Okay. So that's all I know, Ali. Hi, Jeff. Jeff Cox is here. Beautiful day out. Um, we Another were... glorious day here on the island, in case you're tuning in from somewhere else. Oh, my God. I hope it was a beautiful day where you are also. We had a nice day for the garden. I brought meatball up down to the beach for a while. Still only about 20 people on the beach. Are there. What's today, Saturday? Sounds good to me. I guess we better remember <laughs> tomorrow's Sunday. Yeah. It's <laughs> quiet. Quiet. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we, um, we're celebrating the prayer book tonight. Again, if you don't have prayer books at home, let us know. We'll throw it in the mail for you, or we, or we can, if you're on the island especially, we can drop book it off. Book of Common 
prayer. Book of Common Prayer, also available online for free. Episcopal Church's website, I guess, right? Episcopal Church. Oh, the Episcopal oh, Church, Church Publishing. Yes, but this is the uh, the Holy Grail of the Episcopal Church. Oh, the Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> It's certainly a wonderful tool. This is a Bible. It is wonderful. Great okay. combination. I want to jump ahead of the game. Okay. Okay, page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. Order for Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father we, we have, have sinned against you through our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed and what we have, have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ forgive, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Careful, there you go. Careful. There he goes. Careful, boy. Okay, we're paying. Okay, our psalm today is on page 617, 617 of the Book of Common Prayer, or if you're using your Bible, of Psalm 27. A little bit long, Holly, but you can do it. Pace yourself. 18 verses. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 617. 617, the 27th Psalm. I'll pray up to the asterisk. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh. It was they, my foes and my adver ad adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me. Yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war should rise up against me. Yet will I put my trust in him. One thing I've asked of the Lord, one thing I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord. And to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwelling and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies, round about me. Therefore I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me. Nor turn away your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper, cast me not away. Do not forsake me, O God, of my salvation. Do my father and my mother forsake me. The Lord will sustain me. Show me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Deliver me not into the hands of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen up against me, and also those who speak malice. What if I not believe that I should see the goodness of the Lord? In the land of the living. O tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hi, Beverly. Hallelujah. Okay. Oh. What now, Olive? What now? Oh, time to read scripture. Look at all your ribbons hanging out here, Olive. I know. I like the ribbon. 
All right, this evening we're going to read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if you wish. I will make three dwellings, three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Why then do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He replied, Elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come and they did not recognize him, but they did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man is about to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Okay, <laughs> he's reading from a tiny, tiny little prayer book. Sorry, a tiny little. T <laughs> it is. A... Let me see. Yeah, look at it's oh, microscopic. I had that shirt that held cigarettes the other day. I, should, I could have put it in there, Ollie. Common prayer. Look at how precious this is. Oh. Yeah, that's um. It's printed in eighteen ninety two, but it's from. Oh, it says Edna. Brush. From Mama. Mama. May 1st, 1899. Oh, pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Beautiful little Mama. book. Damn. Yeah, look at, look at this. And Olive, we're going to sing out of this tomorrow. There's the companion copy, the hymnal. <gasps> look at that look hymnal. At it's that. the same size. It's oh, like, look at how sweet it's that hard, is. It's hard to see this, the, how little they are, I guess. So you can see it, it's... Uh, Fits in your hand. <laughs> so yeah, so tonight. It's so, revised and enlarged, I just want you to know. Revised and enlarged. <laughs> yeah, it's a large print. That's <laughs> what so it says in the first but Look thing. at how we could sing. <sighs> For national days. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if we know Yeah, these. I like tiny books too, Diane. Little Out of the deep I call to thee, O Lord, to thee. Before thy throne of grace I fall. Be merciful to me. I don't know what tunes they are. Maybe... Joe oh, Hammer when he comes back and yes, figure it out. project we can sing at, some new whole, songs for you. In this little hymn, hymnal, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, oh, that's early in the, in the morning. morning. Oh, so what year is this one? It's the same, yeah. So you said something that, that we're going to celebrate the prayer book. Why okay, because so today it was assigned in my, um, on my calendar, uh, my lectionary calendar, to celebrate the Book of Common Prayer. And I, I had my notes too that don't, over the course of this, these weeks, um, right after Pentecost, we should celebrate our prayer book. And so you know we're we're a prayer book people. We you know we really believe this Book of Common Prayer is something that unites us. We don't have to memorize anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've been to other services where people know it already, and so you come in, you're like an outsider. There's, oh, there's I, no, I remember what that was like. Right, they don't tell you what page number. There's <laughs> there's no books. There's a you know. 
Might be pamphlets, right? Yeah, so, you know, do you feel like that way well, when you came to our church? when I first went to the Episcopal Church with Max on my second date, which was Trinity Church in Coffee Square, Boston, just a little, I think just I a dropped chapel it. In Boston. It's like all these people, huge I, church, and I was dropping them. I had 1,200 people at the main service. Clunk. Clunk twice I did that, you know, fumbling, you know. And we always sat in the third pew in front of the <laughs> pulpit on the left, you know. It's, uh, it was, uh, really, uh, it was something to it's be... It's a juggle, uh, the hymnal, it's a juggling act. Yeah, it was quite different than what I was Oh, uh, really? To. Yeah. But I caught up, but, you know, if you go to church enough, you catch on, and uh, you catch on to the hymns, and you catch on to how to use that beautiful Book of Common Prayer, which has... So much in it. I mean, the marriage ceremony, the ordinations, baptism, the funerals, confirmation, reaffirmation. All kinds of prayers of, of Thanksgiving. Beautiful and... prayers in the back that Max always reads from during the col colics, right? That's right. The lovely prayers for this, the prayers for policemen, prayers for someone's birthday, that kind of thing. It's prayers for racial justice, all kinds. <laughs> And so here, and so again, prayer books are so, so treasured in the Episcopal Church that Mama would give it, you know, to Edna, mm -hmm. um, you know, for birthdays, certainly for confirmations, you usually get a, a larger one, but that's these, these pocket, pocket sizes are precious. Here's another one my mother found at a yard sale. This is a 1928 prayer book, and um, I love that it's got a red cover, isn't that precious? It's a little, just slightly bigger than the other ones, and again, um, you can see the the print's actually a fairly good size for a little book. Um, yeah, that nice leather bag, a little bit tattered. Look at this one. Um, a friend's, um, you know, over at church, I'm always using a prayer book that was given to me by a, a widow for Father Mosby. His widow's name? Um, Mildred. Mildred Mosby. And so Mildred gave us an illustrated book of common prayer. Oh, that's a beautiful This is book. really precious, isn't it? Let me see if I can... Fine. So here's a beautiful, a beautiful icon of Mary painting rather than icon. It's not precious. Yeah. So this is an illustrated. That's. A, I'm not sure why it's on that particular page, but that's a fabulous one. And then of course, um, the New Zealand prayer book. And we have the Episcopal Church is 16 countries. Um, Haiti's actually our largest. Diocese. Cuba is now back as but maybe 17 countries now because Cuba is back as part of the Episcopal Church. So it's not the Episcopal Church USA, but it's the, just the Episcopal Church. Here's a New Zealand prayer book, kind of sweet. This one has some oh, um, yes. prayers for crayfish and all kinds yeah, of things. Well, um, they have Maori. Let me see. I gave you that for your birthday a long time ago. Oh, you ago. did? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And we studied it at school. I mean, you know, at, sem at school, at seminary, yeah. Thanksgiving for creation and redemption. Oh, very yeah. nice. We need to keep this one up here, I think, for a while. Yeah, it says, um, Oh, give thanks to God who is good, whose love endures forever. The sun and moon, you stars of the southern sky, give to our God your thanks and praise. Sunrise and sunset, night and day, give to our God your thanks and praise. All mountains and valleys, grassland and scree, glacier, avalanche, mist and snow, give to our God thanks and praise. Yukaturi and pine, rata and kuai, mosses and ferns, oh wow, new ferns, dolphins, sea, sea lion and crabs, coral, anemone, pippi, P I P I, what's that? <laughs> what's pippi? A pippi? Pippi and shrimp. <laughs> rabbits, all your bunnies, rabbits and cattle, moths, moths and dogs. Moths. Kiwi and sparrow and tui and hawk. Give thanks to our God, you Maori and Pakeha, women and men. All who inhabit the long white cloud. Isn't that interesting? The long white cloud, Ali. And so, you know, Thomas Cranmer in 1549 wrote the Book of Common Prayer. We had a book at seminary. People were burned at the stake for um, having a prayer book, for praying in English, for having... Eucharist, you know, Mass in English instead of Latin. And then, of course, um, Protestants retaliated and burned others at the stake. So it, was, it wasn't all one-sided. But it's, um, now with things, um, when we reopen some, we'll have pamphlets rather than prayer books for a little while. Just 
because we want to be able to sanitize in between each service and everything. In the meantime, make sure you have your own prayer book. We can bring our own prayer books to church, Ali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one I love. This one is fairly new. I haven't worn this one out yet. And um, the print's pretty small. You can probably tell. But just like my dad, I can read fine print. My dad took it. He, was, he never, he never wasn't, was an accountant, but he was an accounting major in college. And he was used to little numbers. He could write, um, what's that uh, funny, uh, when you uh, take, um, shorthand. take short, he used to write things in shorthand. Um, but this one is a Bible and prayer book combination. Isn't that great? That's just, got this, we bought this to go to prison and then the person that was accompanying me, it was too small for her eyesight. And so I inherited it all. I never used a pretty sweet one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I've used it quite a bit, but. So anyways, the prayer book, Book of Common Prayer. So again, if you, you'll you notice, there's all kinds of um, quotes in the prayer book of um, from the Bible. Just little snippets of the Bible throughout, pieced together, be, be, masterfully pieced piece together, originally from Thomas Cranmer, and then just, we only change it every 75 years or so, just very selectively changed prayerfully over many, you know, through many committees and conventions, uh, prayerfully. And again, I'll, and finally, I was at that, had that wedding yesterday. It was an interfaith couple. We had a quidnet, which is a pretty kind of remote part of the island. And so they wrote their own vows, but they were so impressed with our prayer book marriage uh, service that, that the, even though it was an interfaith service, um, they wanted me to use that, the timeless language of our mm -hmm. prayer book, uh, rather than something modern. So, testimony to um, often people say oh young people want the new new stuff but there's something about our tradition our timeless tradition that is um, sp speaks the truth you know? and they have there's a catechism in the back too which is very interesting yes there's a big catechism in historical documents you're right uh, Psalter right the Psalms are there mm -hmm. so again let me know if you need a book of common prayer and we thank God for Thomas Cranmer, and uh, prophetic in his, his writing of our prayer book. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we continue in that same prayer book, Ali, on page 132. Oh, don't we sing a hymn now? You're right, we sing a hymn now, Ali. <laughs> okay, we're on page 135 in the hymnal. Hymnal 135. You'll know this one. In the navy blue. In the navy blue hymnal is all he calls it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we used to say the blue hymnal. We got one of our churches we had blue, you know, red prayer book blue hymnal, so that was easy for visitors. But then the other church, they were both red, and so the hymnal kind of looked like the prayer book. It was confusing for people mm -hmm. when I went at the chapel. Okay, so songs of thankful. Songs of thankfulness and praise, we know this one. Yep. 135. Songs of thankfulness and praise, Jesus, Lord, to thee be raised. Manifested by the star to the sages from afar. Branch of royal David's stem, in thy birth at Bethlehem, anthems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest. Manifest at Jordan's stream, prophet, priest, and king supreme. And at Cana wedding guest, in thy Godhead manifest, manifest in power divine, changing water into wine, anthems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest, manifest in making more. Palsied limbs and fainting soul. Manifest in valiant fight, Quelling all the devil's might. 
Manifest in gracious will, ever bringing good from ill. Anthems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest. Manifest on mountain height, shining in resplendent light. Where disciples filled with all thy transfigured glory saw. When from there thou led us then, steadfast to Jerusalem, cross and Easter day attest, God in man made manifest. Some low notes there. That's some low Got notes. Sorry, but start off on low. Start on a low note. It was Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, it was uh, did the harmony, but not that uh, not that I was able to follow the harmony. Okay, now page one thirty-two. The perfect meatball. Also, I, there's a but everyone's all the dogs are barking in the neighborhood, so they, but, yeah. they're all. Is that what is going on? Yeah, a lot of because of the big gray today. Open. There was a lot of some windows upsets. are open and all that. Okay, halfway down the page, on back to the Book of Common Prayer. Page, page one thirty-two. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God. Protect us for the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Here's a prayer for social justice from several prayer books back. Almighty God, who created us in your own image, Grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil, to make no peace with oppression. We may reverently use our freedom, help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice in our communities and among the nations, to the glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Listen, reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Okay. Esmeralda. Kitty Cat, Ezzy. Okay. I got it. Here's our Kitty Cat, Ezzy. Okay. Here's our girl. All right. Now we have um, prayers of intercession. And Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. So we pray. I oh, give Thanksgiving for this seventeen-year-old uh, sweetheart, Black Kitty Esme. Esme. Yes, she's uh, yes. she's so black. <laughs> it's hard to see. Esme, look at the there camera. There we go. There we are, sweetie. You're so precious. Yeah. Um. Oh. Anyway, uh, she's getting older, but she's still I'm hanging in with us. Still hanging in. So we pray for Lindsley and Carl. We pray for Angela Ballas. We pray for Ruthie and Brookie. We pray for our bishop, Alan Gates, and his wife, Tricia, and for Barbara Harris, our suffragan bishop. We pray for... Uh, Barbara Harris? Gail Harris, I think. Did I say Barbara Harris? Barbara Harris passed away. Yeah, here you go. I beg your pardon. Gail Harris, um, our suffragan bishop. We pray for um, Renee Martini, we pray for Christine's sister Lorraine and her family. We pray for June and Alan, for Josie, Melissa, and Ellie, 
for Leslie, Diane, and Mozart, and for Kathy C. We pray for um, Jeffrey Dormy and our 2020 Nantucket High School graduates. Yay. We pray for um, Pat and Dave's 61st wedding anniversary. 61 years. Yes, Pat and wow. Dave Dick. Um, we pray for uh, our dear friends Linda and Janet and Pat and Blair and Missy. We pray for our friend Joseph and Adam. We pray for Normand and Bent and Marianne, Julie and Andrew Metz and their children. We pray for Skylar and Paula. We pray for those serving in the armed forces and their families, especially for Calic, Justin, Trevor, Lucas, and Jeff, working with our returning troops. We pray for Roberto and Aaron and the Nantucket Cottage Hospital staff and volunteers, and for the, we also pray for the Fairwinds Counseling Center and staff. We pray for Lucy's family and Luke's family serving the medical community and for Nurse Sam in New York City. First year Nurse Sam. We pray for all our homeless and for those that help them, especially Emanuel Shelter in Delaware. We pray for all med flight crews and Coast Guard crews and first responders. We pray for, for all that are um, we pray for our expanding uh, mission of the Mission committed, Committee at St. Paul's, which formerly was the Outreach Committee. Um, we pray for, um, did I say, I said that? We pray for all children everywhere and children at risk. We pray for Linda Peterson feeding chil Nantucket children from the island kitchen. We pray for Julie and Matt and all food providers, and for Megan cooking for the community of Rehoboth, and for Evan and Maria, and Angela and Seth, and Joe and Jordana, and Todd and Susan, and all Nantucket chefs Mark. and restaurant workers. Market ships in. Market ships in. And we pray for. And Gabriel of Straight Wharf. We pray for dear friends Peggy and Sherman, our, our musical friends Peggy and Sherman, yes. and for our music director Joe Hammer. On the road. We give thanksgiving for Daryl's recovery from COVID and for Joe, his husband, and for Joe's father, Mr. Yes, Zuber. The Zuber family, yes. We pray for Pastor Enoch Fuzz of Corinthian Church in Nashville. We understand he is recovering. We pray for Jenny's neighbor, Sally and Kathleen Waite's cousin, and Peter's sister, Nancy. We nice. pray for um, Bruce and Brian. We pray for Noah McMillan and for Paul from Nat Madigan. Uh We pray for Sandy's family grieving the loss of their brother, Bill. Sandy's brother, yes. We pray for justice and peace. In that order. Thanks, Ollie. It's really nice, man. It's okay, Pizzy. I'm making notes. Any? We'll have any to look at that after. We'll look at that later. Okay. Thank you, Jay, for your prayers. Okay, page 134. Bottom page, let's pray together. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God, Ali. Thanks be to God. Okay.
Okay, so tomorrow's Sunday. You know what that means, Ali? Church. We're supposed to. Oh, yes, church. So I was going to say it's Pajama Sunday. Oh, Pajama Sunday tomorrow <laughs> night. It's, Sorry, I forgot all about church. We have to get all some good pajamas <laughs> for her birthday if I can find any, but uh, maybe it's something. It's not really pajama weather. Okay. Well, so that's just soft cotton pajamas. Some like, summer like jammies. I actually have summer jammies. Well, hold on, I want to send. Okay, yes, so that's tomorrow night. And then, well, you heard Music Monday is going to be filmed, um, broadcast from St. Luke's United Methodist Church. So we'll have it here. It's going to be streamed, streamed on their website too. It's a 6,500 member Methodist mega church in Indianapolis. My friend Jeff is so excited. He said he said we made it big time by broadcasting from that church. That's some giant organ about the size of our oh, whole church. I bet Jeff was excited. Yeah, so about Jeff that. is really excited about it. <laughs> Called right away the other night when Joe coming announced from, it. Coming from Indiana, the way he. So that'd be an unusual time, and then, and then recorded too. And then so, uh, and then tomorrow morning, of course, nine thirty, morning prayer from inside our beautiful church. And those of you in TV land that haven't visited, come visit. You, by then, we'll be we'll be open at some point, a few months at least. Inside, we'll start worshiping outside when we're able, at a safe distance. We have a nice committee we put together of Libby Tracy, uh, Malcolm McNabb, who's an, a scientist, epidemiologist here here in the Board of Health. Other folks from our vestry, will let me know if you're on the island and want to be involved okay. in our our uh, regathering advisory committee. Ali. So introduce it, Ali. We have. Um, oh yes, this is um, where we had a little fun with Tennessee Ernie Ford a couple weeks ago when he sang "Bringing in the Sheaves." Oh, did I, I forgot about yes, that? Yes, and I didn't realize that was him at the time. Anyway, um, so he sings all these wonderful. Tennis William Ford. And uh, this one is, I because we talked about the Book of Common Prayer, so this is, I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story. So here we go. I do, every night I get to tell the story. Yes, man.
Yeah.